in the latest news in the Caribbean. Our headline story takes a look at the ongoing heat wave in Antigua. The capital, St. John, is reeling under a heat wave condition with near record high time temperatures of 34 degrees Celsius for the past week and into its fight at night. Such a long spell of high temperatures has not been recorded since the early 90s. Experts have explained that the heat wave is associated with a particularly intense late season dry spell. Here with me this evening is Clement, who will give you more information about this heat wave and present the three months climate forecast. Over to you, Clement. <laughs> 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 What's the weather like out there? It's hot. Real hot. Damn hot. Hot is things since my short shorts. <laughs> We've been experiencing some hot weather for the past. And the forecast for the next few months doesn't look good. Temperatures in June, July, August, in the Caribbean. are likely to be about to know her. Measures in place before 
Um, we were monitoring the drought situation. We used tools such as the precipitation um, outlook, the temperature outlook, the drought alert that was produced by Karakoff. We were able to use this information and then pre-position resources at, at particular points to help alleviate some of the impacts of what we see here today. And we also have been using the Caribbean, the white truck platform, to report impacts. And we are benefiting from the visualization features. Wow, what a great example of how the climate information can be used in disaster management. Thank you, Ms. Mullen, for that, for taking the time to give us that statement. I am signing off for a short while to travel to our next location. I am Jury, reporting for CNN. Back to you, Sunny. We commend Mars for the great work we are doing in providing assistance to the communities affected. And we are also happy to hear that the products produced by our manufacturing department have been put to good use. Let's join Jury again as she reports from one of our largest retirement villages in the country. <laughs> Well, as 
from a bird map produced by Carrie Hunt. And as a result, this is helping us greatly to make our decisions for the future. Thank you, Ms. Nigel, for that update. Another great example of climate information being used effectively. This evening, we've covered stories which reported the impacts of the drought and ongoing heat wave on the four different sectors. It was also interesting to see how the type of products were being used to alleviate the situation. Other notable re reports associated with the ongoing heat wave has been submitted by other sources. see what has been reported. There has been an introduction of standard working hours at many corporate offices in St. John's, with the CEO of Massey Technologies announcing recently that work hours are now 5 p.m. to midnight. Those <laughs> <laughs> Grand Antigua Resort and Spa has offered its swimming pool to the public between the hours of 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. and is offering patrons a free glass of lemonade by the swimmer bar. <laughs> Lastly, the Prime Minister, Gaston Brown, has announced that the air conditioning units can now be purchased tax-free. Wow. This is my final report for the evening. I am Julie Reeves, reporting for CNN, Harkov Network News. The cool as ice and twice as nice. Over to you, Sunny. <laughs> Supposed to be, I gotta be brave. 